we are going to do a very simple rhythm lesson. And all you're going to need is some empty Tupperware containers, any size, um, any shape, any colour. Um, and you're just going to need some ingredients that you can find in the kitchen. So anything that's colourful, anything with a nice aroma, it can just be anything really simple like rice, even something that you've got in. Um, so I'll give you a minute to go and find some things to put into your shakers. <laughs> shakers okay so I have found in my kitchen some really nice colorful pasta so I've got some red and green and yellow pasta so I'm going to put this into one of my containers and this makes a really nice loud now for an extra sensory element I'm going to use some ice because it's quite nice to feel the ice you might like the cold sensation on the back of your hand. So put some ice so you can feel the ice as you're placing it into the container. And again, the ice is amazing because it makes a really nice, loud sound when you shake it. Okay. And then I have some marshmallows, which is an extra sensory treat. You could taste one. Or if you can't taste the marshmallows, they're really actually quite nice to squidge together. It's a nice little sensory um, experience maybe just placing them from one hand to another and then just placing them into your shaker and these make a really quiet sound so you can hardly hear them when you shake them and i've also got some coffee because i absolutely love the smell of coffee so you can smell the coffee it has a lovely aroma and um, you may or may not like the smell of the coffee but just pop a little bit of the coffee into the tub and there you have four shakers. Okay, so the next activity, once you've done that, we are now going to um, add some rhyme to the rhythm. So I'm going to use my rice shaker to start off with. And I'm just going to say a few lines with the rice. So shake your rice to the rhythm and the beat. Shake your rice to the rhythm and the beat. Shake your rice to the rhythm and the beat. Clap your hands and tap your feet. Okay, so the first three lines are going to stay the same. And the fourth line you are going to change and you're going to make up. You're going to create your own action. Where I clap my hands, you're going to create an action. It can be you might want to move your head to the side. You may want to lift up your shoulders. Um, you may want to uh, click your fingers. So I'll give you a minute to think about which action you are going to create. Okay? Okay. So the action I've thought of is just um, nodding my head, just forward. So I'm going to use my mallow shaker. Are we ready? So three, two, one. Shake your mallow to the rhythm and the beat. Shake your mallows to the rhythm and the beat. Shake your mallows to the rhythm and the beat. Nod your head and tap your feet. Okay, brilliant. Now the next activity we're going to do, and I'm going to need a pupil for this, so Eleanor is going to come and join me. Now, in our sensory sessions, the pupil is at the very centre of the learning. So we encourage the pupil not only to engage, but to actually actively take the lead in the session. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to give Eleanor a shaker. She's going to choose one. I'm going to have a shaker and I'm going to mirror everything that Eleanor does with the shaker. OK, um, it's really important for this activity that we're really patient. So it might be that the student takes a lot of time to shake and the student might not even want to shake. The student might want to just tap. Or if the student has very limited gross and fine motor skills, they may just want to lift their hand gently to produce a very quiet sound on the shaker. So it's important to mirror everything that the student does. So I'm going to say, which, which shaker would you like? So I'm going to use the pasta one and I'm going to mirror Eleanor's interactions with the shaker. OK, so three, two, one. Thanks, Eleanor. 
now what I'm going to do now, I'm going to reflect back what Eleanor is doing through rhyme. So I'm going to say exactly what Eleanor is doing. Now the student you're working with may decide not to play and they may decide they're going to just look to the side with their eyes or they may lift their head up or they might smile. So you can reflect everything they do. It doesn't necessarily matter if they're playing with the shaker or not. You just mirror back any interaction at all. Okay, so we'll try this one again. Maybe the pupils can tap a surface as well. Perfect. Okay, so you go for Eleanor and I'll reflect back. So, Eleanor's tapping to the rhythm and the beat. Eleanor's tapping quickly to the rhythm and the beat. Eleanor's tapping quickly to the rhythm and the beat. Eleanor's clapping quickly to the rhythm and the beat. Eleanor's clapping quickly to the rhythm and the beat. Eleanor's clapping quickly to the rhythm and the beat. Tap, tap, tap. Okay, thanks, Eleanor. So it's important to remember that the pupil may or may not use the shaker. It might just be that the pupil's looking up and looking away. Anything at all, you just reflect back. And again, the pupil may just need a little bit of support or the pupil might just tap very gently with the hand and um, lifting up the shaker. Okay. So the last activity we're going to do is to create some rhythm to a piece of music. So I've chosen The Lion Sleeps Tonight because this song has two very distinctive beats. There is a simple beat, so you will just play to the rhythm. One, two, one, two, one, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So as you can see, there's like a bit of a one, two beat. So I play one and then bring it down and play on the one again. Now, as you can hear when we play the song in a minute, there's a very distinctive beat um, and it changes to a one, two, three kind of beat. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so the first time you listen to the music and play along, you might not be able to distinguish between the beats, but that's fine. If you listen to it over a period of weeks so, though, you'll become really familiar with the rhythm and you'll start to anticipate the rhythm and um, you may even start to be able to play the different rhythms, that like really slow beat and then change the beat to the one, two, three beat. Um, so we'll have a go playing along together to it now, okay? So if you get your shakers ready, choose which shaker you'd like. Okay, and we'll just start by playing with the simple beat. So we're gonna play along now to The Lion King. So get your shakers ready. Are we ready? So simple beat, one, two, one. So keep that simple beat. And then listen to the changing beat now. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. And listen to the beat change again. Simple beat. Again. Okay, so you can practice listening to that song um, whenever you want to and just seeing if you can um, detect the change in the beat. Um, so thank you so much for joining today and um, hope you join again soon and um, yeah, thanks, enjoy making some music. <laughs>